what is up everybody good morning it is sunday morning here in okinawa japan it is a beautiful day it's starting to cool down a little bit too the humidity is starting to go down and not be quite as high so it's starting to feel pretty nice outside but today we are finally getting to installing the awesome c cane head unit i have for the gtr here's what we're working with already kind of mocked up in there from a couple weeks ago didn't have a chance to finish it or even really start it it's just mocked up so let's go ahead and get into it. We're waiting for Frank to come over to actually get in deep with the install. He's a little bit more uh, electronic savvy than me. Knows a little bit more about wiring and things like that. So we're gonna have some help from him, but we'll go ahead and get started. So to remove the head unit in the R32, it's pretty simple. You just pop out a lot of things. This just pops right out. Pops right off. And this one pops right off with the exception of a sensor back here. Oh, there's a plug for the cigarette lighter and then there's a sensor for the cabin temperature. And if you unplug that and don't plug it back in, that will affect your AC. That's what happened to me. So now that that's unplugged right there, here's the radio. See, no bolts are in back here. This is where the bolts would be that you would remove to take your current unit out. These will appear. But there are little tabs that kind of hold it in place. There's four of them. So you got to kind of make sure to pop off of those tabs. Uh, this can come off real easy. Just be careful. It's pretty fragile feeling. And then should be able to slide the radio pretty much right out. And there she is. Slid right out. And behind it is the wiring nightmare from the previous owner so that's what I'm gonna need help tackling and I do believe I hear Frank rolling up now he's also got a white R32 but his is super loud with the Tomei exhaust on it also not a bad idea to disconnect the battery when doing stuff like this Frank's here so on the top of the unit, they have the diagram here where you kind of lays out what wires go to where and the colors. And pretty much this should just be color matching, but it's a little bit different because this unit has a few different, not norm, not normal, I guess, colors. Yellow is usually power and it's not in this one, but you can see it's a complete mess and it's gonna be kind of a pain. And Frank's gonna help us go pretty much wire by wire and Possibly trial and error, we'll see. Progress is coming along, some wires are connected, still trying to figure out a couple random stragglers, I-N, I-N-T. But we're gonna do a little bit of plug -in and play and probably to get this figured out, but we're getting there, almost done. It should normally be real easy wiring this up, color, match color, but it's been a little bit difficult. There's been a couple that are not match color for color, but that's only because of the person before me installing the radio. All right, so we are mostly complete here. Frank just left. We have everything hooked up. It works. A few things I did leave off right now. The GPS antenna that came with it. I'm not gonna run the GPS yet because I figured it would come with like a double-sided tape on the back or something to put up on the windshield, but it's actually a magnet. So I guess they expect you to put it on the outside of your car and I think that would just look really weird and be really kind of a pain to run to the outside of the car and have a good seal. I don't know how I would do it exactly. So I think I'm going to get some double-sided tape and see if that'll work and just do it up on the windshield and then I'll plug it in and I'll do a video with that later. But let's go ahead and see this thing turn on. Peel this protective layer off. Warning, do not watch video when driving. I'm trying to get that protective layer off. There we go. Coming off. There we go. So one thing I do like about this, let's turn that down. It has the volume knob. A lot of the touchscreens don't have the volume knob and it's kind of a pain to be pressing it while you're driving. This is our only American radio station on island. But let's check out some of the features. This is my first time going through the features, so might be a little slow, let's see. I can connect to the Play Store. This is an Android-based uh, head unit. It sounds pretty awesome, everything it can do. The GPS, the radio all that, Bluetooth, I need to connect my phone. And I'm also gonna get one of the little Bluetooth OBD readers so that I can connect it to the uh, car so I can actually have like the gauges up here like boost and speed and all that kind of stuff run straight through here. But I don't have the OBD reader currently so I'll have to get one of those. Let's see if we can connect Bluetooth. 
Uh, car kit, password, connection, you need to put that on. And go down to the phone, car kit. We are connected. Look at that. So that is pretty awesome. Let's see if we can sound switch only. Now that we're connected, we can make calls through here. Let's also see if we can get some music playing. Some not copyrighted music playing. This isn't copyrighted. It's all in my head. That was the radio. All right, so we are now connected with the Bluetooth and now I go to Bluetooth music. And there we go. Playing straight from my phone. Forced by Alan Walker. One of the NCS musics. Pretty awesome. I'm super excited to have Bluetooth again. I haven't had that since back in the States in my FRS and WRX when I still had it. Pretty awesome. Let's see what else we can do on here. Let's go ahead and kill the music. Alright, so I can turn the volume up when I'm not in the Bluetooth music section and also by clicking the knob in, mutes it, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Bluetooth. That's going to be pretty cool to be able to do hands-free uh, talking while I'm driving. I should be able to use external, uh, like a SD card to go in here to play movies or something if I wanted to for Mason. I can also connect my phone with a USB right there. All right, so I need a few minutes to play around with this thing to try to get this everything down on the radio so I can explain it to you guys, but so far I'm super satisfied with it. It's awesome, it's not expensive, and it's already exceeding my expectations. So I'm gonna put everything back together just so you guys can get a look of what it looks like. So there's everything all put back together. It fits pretty much perfect. There's a little teeny gap right down here at the bottom, but not even really noticeable. Perfect fit if you don't have your gauges, or if you wanna delete your gauges and just run the gauges through here. Perfect fit at an awesome price. I am super satisfied with how that came out. Mason is home and has joined us now. He's pretty stoked about the new radio. So I was looking at this, I'm trying to connect to Easy Connect, which is like AirPlay, where I can pretty much, whatever is on my phone will be on the screen here, but I don't currently have a hotspot. Uh, I don't have the ability to set up a hotspot on my phone right now with the current plan I have. So I'm gonna have to go down to the uh, AU, the cell phone place here, and get my hotspot set up before I can do that. So going through some of the settings, pretty cool, I can adjust how the sound goes. I didn't think I had that at first, I couldn't find it, but that's a pretty cool way to be able to do it, just drag and drop wherever I want. So that's pretty awesome. It's also got the user manual on here. I can scroll all the way through and figure everything out. And I'll probably actually do a second video of this, do the install video today, and then do another video going through some more of the options once I have everything figured out. Playing around with the settings, I got a background on here now until I put my own background on. It's basically a koi pond, and you touch the fish, and they swim away. And you can drag your finger through there and create waves. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Alrighty, so it's a little bit later now. It's around, I think, 7 o'clock at night. Took a little break, went to the beach, and actually had a little bit more time to play with the radio, and do know a little bit more about it now. So, now I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and I'll let you guys see what it looks like starting, and then we'll go over what I've learned about it so far. There's the Android logo, because this is the Android-based head unit. And it goes into this for about 10 seconds, or 15. Something ridiculously long. And boom. Have the different background out there right now, the cherry blossoms. Pops on to the FM right away, because that's what I was doing earlier. Back to the home screen. So I did go ahead and connect the GPS. I didn't originally have it in there, but I did take it back out and all I did was screw it on to the back side of the radio. And here's what it comes with, this little GPS antenna. But like I said, it does want it to go on top of the car, I guess, because it's a magnet. 
So until I get some double-sided tape, it's just gonna have to kind of sit here. I did hang it out the window a little bit while I was driving down the road, and it did seem like it was starting to pick up the GPS signal, but here in the garage, it's not gonna do anything because we're in a concrete garage. So I will definitely come back to the GPS portion of this in another video. The other cool thing I'm gonna have to come back to in another video well is the Easy Connect, because if you have an Android to pair with the actual Android device, it's really easy with USB, but I don't have the Android so the USB is not an option for some reason to pair it that way. So the only way to do it with the iPhone is the Wi-Fi, but like I said, I have to get hotspot turned on my phone for that to be able to work. So we'll come back to that for another video as well. But the Bluetooth music, that's pretty awesome. Once I connect to some Wi-Fi, I'll be able to go to like a Google Play store and sign in with my Google account. Bluetooth works. I called Megan from that earlier just to test it out. Here I can change backgrounds for some, for some preset stuff like this uh, Sakura leaves falling from the tree. I can go back to the Koi Pond. iGo is one of the GPS things it has on it. I believe this is also some sort of car monitoring system. Kind of like I was talking about with the OBD reader, but it's not connected because I guess I would have to hardwire that into my ECU maybe. I don't know exactly. I'm just going to get the OBD reader and Bluetooth connect that those two items together whenever I get a Bluetooth reader in here or a OBD reader. And then there's lots of other stuff I still have to load on here. I'm gonna load my own pictures and some my own videos on here so I can actually play some of my videos in the car and also have some background, like a GTR background or your car, bro, your car bro background. But overall, first day, I am extremely satisfied and I really do look forward to getting to learn this system a little bit more. So overall, like I said, I'm super satisfied with it. It's awesome, I can't wait to learn more about it. Seacane is the brand and they really hooked us up on this one. I'm gonna link their website in the description and I'll link the exact unit I bought in the description so you other GTR owners can buy those. And without the gauges, it fits in perfect and you can throw those gauges right up on that screen whenever you get the OBD reader. And pretty awesomely, Seacane has actually hooked us up with our own discount code for my subscribers. So they're already a pretty awesome deal, but if you enter your car bro in the coupon code on their website, you'll get 5% off whatever order you have. I thought that was really cool that they were offering that to us and I think that will help some of you guys out who are in the market for a nice affordable radio head unit, doubled in, whatever it may be. Check out their website, they do have a lot of stuff and if you don't see your actual car on there, you can send them the measurements because that's what I did. They didn't have R32 GTR on their website but I measured the space out and they said hey this should fit and it got here and fit perfectly. I hope you all enjoyed this video, I hope it was somewhat informative and I hope it makes you go buy one of these units because I am very happy with it and I think it's going to be a cool, a cool thing to learn some of the other features and show you guys. And if you have any questions on installing a head unit like this or this exact unit, definitely hit me up in the comments, whatever, wherever, in messages and just ask because it was a learning experience for me today but I did learn a lot and it was only for us about a two hour job and it should have been a lot shorter but the previous owner had hacked up the wires in there and pretty much destroyed the original harness thing that goes in there and it wasn't just a super easy plug, plug and play like it should have been but normally you won't have that problem and it'll be really, really simple and probably take you 45 minutes. So I do want to thank C. Kane for sending the radio out because I do love it so far and I will keep you guys updated on how it works and any kind of bugs or anything like that if I run into anything, but nothing so far and I haven't really heard too many bad things about these units. But that is gonna wrap up this video. We do have some car content coming though, uh, some car meets and a drive. I think next Monday, uh, we have off work for a holiday, and I think what we're going to do is go on the Okie Boys poker run. I went on their poker run a couple years ago. I'll throw that video up here right now, but it was old right when the YouTube channel was first starting out. I don't think many people have watched that one, but I'm going to do a better video this time. And the other poker run we went on, I think at the beginning of this year, I actually won. So that would be nice to win this one as well, because usually it's a cash prize or something like that at the end. So. If we do make it to that poker run, I will be taking you guys with me. My car was actually giving me a little bit of trouble today though. I mean, it's a GTR, so that's what you get, but I think it's the maps again. The maps that I put in there were a used set that had been re-soldered, and I think maybe this one's coming undone too, the solderings. So I'm gonna have to get my other set fixed and finally return these to James who let us borrow these like months ago and I've been neglecting. I'm sorry, James, if you're watching this. But hopefully it's just the maps, hopefully it's nothing serious and I'm gonna try to get those maps 
this week so I can either install them before the poke run or take them with me on the poke run in case the car does go down. Other than that, I've actually seen some really cool cars popping up for sale here at some of the local dealerships. So I'm gonna do another cars for sale in Japan video sometime pretty soon. Uh, excuse me, a little bit of burps in there because I'm drinking my Okinawan beer, Orion. It's pretty tasty, a lot better than Bud Light or Budweiser or something. But that is gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna get off of here and play with this head unit a little bit more, see what else I can figure out about it. So, with that being said, my ramble is done. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. As always, thank you for watching.